Broker IPTV. Today we're talking with Terrell Williams, Managing Broker of Western Home and Land and a MetroList board member. Terrell, welcome to the show. Hi, Dan. Well, we've been talking about Prime Access and the news that MetroList made that Prime Access is going to be their number one platform. My MLS and the legacy system will be retired. That's right. So some people are nervous about that. We want to get some information out. Sure. All right. Tell people what's great about Prime Access. Well, to me, the single greatest aspect of Prime Access that is far and, a, far and away better than what we had previously is Power Search. Power Search adds enormous capability, enormous functionality, um, especially with the addition of the map search tool within it yes. uh, as one aspect of, of the search tool. Um, but to me, it speeds things up. It allows us to save the searches in a way that, that, that makes sense, the searches that we do the most often. We can modify them, customize them, and especially using the, the map tool, search according to a geographic constraint, um, a polygon, mm -hmm. a radius, instead of being constrained by the old areas that sometimes made you lose something across yeah. a border or whatever. And that's my favorite tool on the whole thing. And the reason being is that there are a lot of times where I will type in the subdivision incorrectly. Yes. Uh, there will be brokers that put the home in two subdivisions. Right. And what if they listed this subdivision ahead of this one? And then you don't get the results. So I've just stopped using subdivision. I go right to the map feature, type in the address, say show me everything within a half mile or a mile of this address. And it works great for me. Absolutely. Great example. Um, I, I live in Wheat Ridge and do a lot of business in Wheat Ridge. And the same thing happens there in a little bit different way because we have, th we have three zip codes in, in Wheat Ridge, two of which are associated with Denver. Mm. And so if we just put in Wheat Ridge, those properties on the eastern edge aren't found. And yeah. so I can create a polygon that describes Wheat Ridge and uh, exactly the way you described it. Now, people are using data in a variety of ways these days, and right. they want raw data that they can use for something else and a different application sure. for this. And the thing that I like about Prime Access is you can export export that data sure. and use it for other uses, correct? Right. You can download it in a couple of different formats, whichever is convenient to you as a spreadsheet or a text or what, whatever you want to do. Um, so you do your, your basic search, and you could be searching for all of the properties you know that have sold in the last few months in a given area the same kind of search capability you had previously uh, but then as instead of sending it out as a report uh, format to a customer just download it as into whatever format you like as a spreadsheet or whatever and and then take it into Excel or whatever your, your tools are uh, um, a database and do those manipulations there tell me about the statistics tool as well well, the statistics is, is a powerful capability as well, so that as you've finished a search, you can find out what the, uh, what the averages were, what the commonalities were, how many there were according to all the different uh, statistical parameters. And, mm -hmm. um, and that can sometimes help you decide, well, this, was, this search was weighted too heavily at the high end, at the low end. And uh, so there's a lot of new functionality and capability there as well. Oh, I like them all. I use them all. Thanks so much for that information. I appreciate you being you here. You bet. Happy to be here. Thanks. Find more real estate videos at brokeriptv.com.